how are we all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well out there. So, yesterday I had a look at the Russian multimeter. So, after I made the video, I actually brought it into the house and uh, I washed, up, washed out the little tin, all the old foam and crap that was stuck inside it. And I gave the meat itself a good going over, so it's, um, it's a lot more presentable now. And uh, it's quite a nice meter, it's got a little bit of heft to it, like all the that stuff of that era, the, the Soviet stuff, you know. It, it has a feeling that, you know, it was made to last. And, um, you certainly wouldn't want someone to throw it at you. But, um, you know, it's, got a, it's not quite as heavy as the Avo, I don't think. But it's, it's, it's not far off. Now, if you ask me to choose which I'd rather have, the old Mark V there that I use, or this. I'm going to be reaching for the Mark V, but it's what you know, I suppose. But um, I suppose this was the equivalent of what people had in Russia and what they were using. So, I don't know, I could see myself using it. I could see myself using it. So anyway, I think we'll have a look at the accuracy or non-accuracy as uh, the case may be with this. So we'll, we'll check it. Um, I'll put a battery holder into it as well. So I'll give you a look at that. So I'll bring in the camera and we'll set it up. Um, other things of interest or non-interest as the case may be um, I got a very very large clock for my bench I say a very very large clock because that's all it does at the minute um, I was talking to John earlier on about um, about this and uh, it's, it's a Sanyo VTC 9300 Beta Max or Beta Card player uh, I'm not sure, but late 70s, I think. I haven't looked into it at all. But he used to actually rent these. Uh, and sell them. And he said they were a great machine. He was very interested when I when I mentioned it. He remembered them well. Said they gave very little trouble. And um, so, nothing's happening. We have a tape in it. Um, I was saying to him, I'm a bit, over the years in the shop, um, he got many players in with tape stuck in them and that and the contents on them usually turned out to be a little bit whiskey to say the least and this one tape that's in this is marked blue xx so i mm, i don't know what sort of a uh, content is on that tape but um, anyway and looking in in um the drum is all moldy and the pin trawler there is all moldy so it's been somewhere that hasn't, you know, hasn't been stored in the best of conditions. Overall, cosmetically, it's 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 dirty, obviously. Uh, it has a little bash here on the train. So, but you know, it's not too bad. I'll take the cover off and see if the what way the belts are. I imagine the the belts are. I've seen their best. We're not we're not getting any action there. Those buttons, one of the buttons are going down. Now that could be the. There might be a pilot light in it or whatever. I don't know. I, I'm not into these at all. Um, I've, I've floated around with them. But I, I, I would not be an expert on such things. But um, I might take the cover off and have a look and see what the belts are like. The belts are going to stick a couple of rubber bands in just to see if we can get it to go. But um, I might bring it over to John and let him work on it. Um, as he knows them so well. But um, at the minute it's a nice clock. Nice uh, VFD uh, display on the clock there, so it makes a pleasant clock. Yeah, it's not a clock, but uh, I, I was trying it there earlier on just to see if it would do anything, but uh, it's not. It's going to need a little bit of work before it'll play ball. Anyway, that's besides the, the issue. We'll have a look at our. Um, we'll have a look at our uh, multimeter. Oh yeah, I got a little small. Uh, Panasonic TV there, TV as a, a monitor there for the the um, test pattern generator. So that's just fits there nicely on top of it, so you can uh, monitor the output or whatever, which is good. Anyway, we'll set this up. I'll pause here and uh, set up a bit of stuff. Okay, so I've got a it wants a four and a half volt battery, but I've got. Um, six volts in 
and it's it's okay i can just about zero it with six volts so that's what we're running with here and that's okay and of course it'll last a little bit longer as well and um, i found two screws that fit as well so that's the story on that front and the wires are just twiddled around the, the contacts so if i get a if i do come across one of those four and a half volt uh, cells I think there's an adapter you can get that takes three AAs. So, the um, the four AAs will work just nicely enough for now. She's not quite as sensitive as the the Avo. It's um. On DC, she's 16.7 uh, kilowatt to the volt, whereas the, the AVO, and of course the, which is the industry standard, uh, is uh, 20. But um, it doesn't make much of a difference really, unless you're working on very high impedance sources. So, that's the story. What we'll do is now, I'll zero that movement where it is at that angle. I can it might not let me zero no it wants to be it wants to be on the level that's more or less zero out you say it hasn't got a parallax error, error uh, mirror in it and sadly I haven't got the fittings for my new car or camera holder yet or the new tripod but um, so I can't go up quite as high we'll try voltage first anyway with the dust with the variable power supply here Okay, we have the uh, the Russian multimeter on the, the 30 volt scale. Oops, sort of halfway with that and see what it reads. I think you put on the right setting first. <laughs> oh there. Okay. So 12.61. Um, sort of. 12.6 on the zero there. That's bang on. It's just over halfway between the two segments, so 12.6. 12.6 that's amazing let's um go up another notch if we go for 25 i'd say see what it rates Yeah, couldn't fall out with that really now. It's bang on. It's absolutely bang on on the DC voltage range there. We'll try it on the lower voltage. Let's go down to 6. And we'll go back down here to... Let's see. So we ought to be coming up to 20 there because we're uh, 
multiplying it by two. Bang on. Absolutely bang on. Right, let's go down again. 1.5 volt range. I'll bring this right down to... Let's say 0.7. Spot on again. Some meter. Let's see, point three volt range now. Let's see if we can get that right down. Let's say point one five. Again, absolutely spot on. So no qualms without using this on the DC range anyway. We'll see what resistors are like next. Okay, we're going to check the lowest resistance range, so we're just going to zero it. As you can see, I can just about zero it with the 6 volts in it. Just about in, in, in line with the, uh, in the range of the control. Fairly well zeroed there. Right, I have a 100 ohm resistor here first. I'll measure it on the fluke, which I know is right. Ninety nine point one. Bang on, absolutely spot on. The needle lines up bang on with the one, which is a hundred ohms. So we can't fall out with that. Let's go up a range then to uh, see if we can find it. Uh, let's see what have I got here. A 510 ohm resistor here, I'll try that with the fluke first. Yep, 511, so close enough. Absolutely bang on again. No problems with this meter at all. It's really held its calibration. Alright, the last one I'm going to try is a 10k resistor. We'll try it with the fluke first, just to make sure they're alright. Five. Let's go up a range. Bang on the zero, bang on the one again. So 10k. No problems there either. We'll try the, the highest range if we can find a 100k resistor. There's a fart, fart, no. Here's a 51k resistor. So we measure him with the fluke first. One point three K. Let's see where she lands. Fifty 
Bang on again, just over the uh, over the five mark. Um, I'm not going to test the transistor on it because I haven't read up on how to work it yet. But um, that'll be another job. And uh, I'm going to leave AC alone because my only AC source here at the minute handy is the mains. I don't really want to stick it into the mains. But um, it's probably close enough on the mains anyway. It says uh, give or take 4% for AC. So anyway. That's the uh, the Russian meter. I'm quite happy with that. And uh, I probably will see a little bit of use. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope that wasn't too boring. There's a little spider here going across the bench. Um, plenty of them around with the hot weather. Anyway, take care for now. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see what happens next. I might take the cover off that BMX. No, I'm not going to bother doing that now. I'm going in. I've done enough out here today. Alright, take care, mind yourselves, be good to one another, and I'll catch you again soon. All the best.